when education is interrupted, it affects everyone, and especially students, teachers, and families. Today, on the third International Day of Education, I pay tribute to their resilience in the face of a pandemic that, at its peak, forced almost every school, institute, and university to close its doors. Although this disruption has led to learning innovations, it has also dashed hopes of a brighter future among vulnerable populations. All of us pay the price. After all, education is the foundation for expanding opportunities, transforming economies, fighting intolerance, protecting our planet, and achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. As the world continues to battle the pandemic, education as a fundamental right and a global public good must be protected to avert a generational catastrophe. Even before the pandemic, some 258 million children and adolescents were out of school, the majority of them girls. And more than half of 10-year-olds in low- and middle-income countries were not learning to read a simple text. In 2021, we must seize all opportunities to turn this situation around. We must ensure the full replenishment of the Global Partnership for Education Fund and strengthen global education cooperation. We must also step up our efforts to reimagine education, training teachers, bridging the digital divide, and rethinking curricula to equip learners with the skills and knowledge to flourish in our rapidly changing world. Let us commit to promote education for all, today and every day.